Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. This is Amy Chicken, Team Pandori. We got another... We got a yellow back box. Box. It's a meal, meal box. So we got this from AliExpress, from the company Meal. M-E-L-E. And it's a stick PC. Stick it in. This is using the same chipset as uh, our mini PCs we had earlier, which is the J4125, which is the same chipset that the Super Console XPC lights are using nowadays. I believe you can choose Ubuntu or Windows 10 when you check out. Could save a few books if you wish. Here's the manual. That's it. That's the manual. <laughs> Not much to it. Here's the stick. Make it so. Hmm. Slightly larger than expected. We've got two stickers we can peel off. Only two USB 3 ports. And then for power we have a micro USB port, I think that's what they're called. You know, the old cell phone ones. On the back we have one of them locky holes, Ethernet port, and 3.5 audio jack. Behind here we have the micro SD. What else do we have in the box? Power adapter. Micro USB. And in the box we have two adapters, one for European, the other for US and Japan. As a stick PC is fairly heavy for its size, it may eventually fall out of the monitor. So we'll use this extension cord if the mini PCs on the desk should provide a bit more support. For today's size comparison, we will use a tea bag. The stick PC is double the length of a Typhoo tea bag. Then comparing it to the mini PC, it's a lot smaller, isn't it? That's what I'm talking about. Time for specs. Let's insert this stick now. And stick, 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 stick. Once the power adapter is connected, you can push this switch here to turn it on. After choosing the language, selecting our region, then username, we get into Windows 10 Pro. 20H2, which is the end of March 2021. Once connected to Wi-Fi, you can download the Windows updates. And then connecting to Bluetooth is also no problem. To the benchmarks, both CPU scores are actually lower than the 4125 units we had in earlier, and both OpenCL and Vulkan scores are actually lower than the 3455 unit we had in. We can start by installing some free software using Ninite. If you need Office or something like that, it's a great solution. Online shopping on the AliExpress, no problems here. We can get some chicken cushions. Affirmative. 4K YouTube. And as we're using a Windows machine, Netflix runs fine. You can do your accounting by using LibreOffice. And you can type out some Word documents. Or you could use this for some light gaming. If you want some games that rely on 3D, please look elsewhere. The 4125 chipset is no good for that. Here's a bit of emulation using Redream. Looking at a solid 60 FPS.
Nice to see that we have a fairly unnerfed BIOS. But as always, we're going to see how well this can run with Batocera on an external drive. The other Super Console X PC machines are running on an external hard drive too. Let's see if we can get a Super Console X PC stick. No. Baby. So it seems we're not getting enough juice for a hard drive to run. We'll need some extra power from an external source. So here's the Batocera front end. Provided you have the ROM files on, select the game and play. Let's check out some games. First up is Moonwalker, MAME. Jim Power, Commodore Amiga. Cruising USA, N64. Crazy Taxi, Dreamcast. Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Naomi. King of Fighters 11, a Thomas Wave. Daytona USA 2, Model 3. Wipeout XL. PlayStation. Outrun 2006, Coast to Coast. PSP. It doesn't run perfect on unbuffered, but it runs pretty close. And the same goes for Tekken 6. We may need to use frame skip here. After playing a few games, we can see that it does have a temperature issue. Either this is throttling the unit, or it's not getting enough power from the plug socket. So let's get quick into the pros and cons. Pros, it's good in Windows, Wi-Fi is good, Bluetooth decent, and it's a small size. For the cons, it's hot, low powered, not enough USB inputs, and it's quite expensive considering the competition. Should you get one of these? For the most part, no. This mini PC here can be found cheaper and works much better. If you want a bit more portability, then this Lockbox Pro should do you well. If you enjoyed this review, like, subscribe, Affiliate links are in the video description down below. This has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the flips. Ta-ra!